Okay, so let me throw you a scenario. You're smoking some of the finest Texas brisket. But what happens is you realize you can't rush this process, but you also have to get to the gym in time to get a good workout in. But the big thing about this is if you're not from Texas, smoking brisket is an art form. You can't rush it. So whenever things like this happen and you're limited on, on time at the gym, maybe it's time to try some circuit training. This isn't my main focus, but it's nice to break in every once in a while when you're limited on time. Welcome to HarvestingStrength.com. Okay, so like I said, we're limited on time. Got about 30 minutes. Let's crank out some circuit training. One of the biggest benefits of circuit training is we're going quick. It's a metabolic trigger, and we're trying to get things flowing within a limited amount of time. Makes it more realistic to some of us who have crazy lives. But what we started off with was the incline press followed by the bent row. The benefits of this right here is the fact that we're doing big muscle groups, which means that it's going to be a bigger metabolic trigger for more uh, uh, caloric expenditure. Now we're going with the seated dumbbell overhead press and then the cable row. Again, we're working opposing muscle groups, but another thing about this, okay, when we're doing our sets and reps is every time we're trying to make sure we go 30 seconds in between sets. So I wanna make sure we're going from exercise one immediately to exercise two and then taking a 30 second break. What happens with this is the fact that it's such a short rest break, it really gets you go, uh, going, gets you, gets you sweating, and makes everything more beneficial. Uh, right here, I highlight the fact that you want to try to work opposing muscle groups uh, to reduce re the fatigue. The thing about this is we want fatigue, but I don't want to over fatigue the same muscle. So like right here, I really want my curls to benefit from my biceps. So then right afterwards, I'm going to hit the tricep extension and fatigue the opposite end so that I'm getting the best performance possible on both ends while at the same time, you know, implementing the fatigue mindset. Uh, just don't want to really overdo it to where I came and get some good reps in uh, by doing the same muscle groups over and over and over. So the big thing about this is try to do these circuit training uh, sets uh, four to five times and uh, try to break it within 30 minutes. And then right here, you come back home full of sweat, full of crazy anticipation. You cut through that brisket and you realize, wow, I put in quite the workout to gain this huge protein-packed uh, uh, meal to enjoy with my family. So if you have more questions or concerns, check out harvestingstrength.com. I just wanted to kind of do something fun, kind of break the norm and just get a little bit of a, you know, gimmick of the Texas mindset, that Texas strength. Thank you guys for checking it out and uh, check out the website, ask questions and uh, see you guys soon.